swings Jason we had tears we had name calling we had fighting and bickering it all went down during the three hours of the bachelor and women tell all which happened last night and we saw Dallas attorney Rachel get sent home so joining me now is digital reporter Landon Hoff he's been awesome to give us the dude's perspective on last night's episode thanks for being here Landon you bet so last night we start with Raven who had said she'd never had the big O before and it looks as if Nick handled business last night. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, first of all, I love the way you're putting that. That's just an excellent <laughs> euphemism. So there was actually some uh, controversy about that uh, uh -huh. this last week. Her ex-boyfriend, uh, believe it or not, releases a statement saying that, to, right? in fact, she has had, as you call it, the big O, oh. uh, and that she did say, I love you. Um, but yeah, so she not so subtly hinted that it went well for her in the fantasy suite uh, and starts skipping down the streets of Finland, as you can see there, like one naturally does when they're uh, in a serious relationship. I mean, if this is the first time for her, she's just snow angels. I mean, I she's suppose. just living it yeah. up right there. Good for her. <laughs> okay, so we also had a few one-on-ones, one with Rachel and one with Vanessa. They went skiing, they went in the pool, ice pool, but some saunas. Anything really relevant happened there? Yeah, so uh, as you're seeing here, the, the ice pond sauna combo, that honestly seems more like a way to catch hypothermia than it does to fall in love I to me, but uh, hey, whatever floats their boat. Uh, <laughs> after that, Vanessa did ask him some of the serious questions, which I, I feel like she should have been asking all along. Uh, he didn't give any good answers, and then he still, she of course wants to spend the rest of her life with him and mm. says how much she is really, really, really ridiculous, but hey, that's what happens. Better in week 10 than never, right? <laughs> yeah, that's it, okay. as they say. So we get to that rose ceremony, and I think we all knew that Rachel was going to get the boot, but what kind of startled me, startled, was all the waterworks I saw from Nick. Did you actually feel that was sincere, genuine? I mean, he tends to do that a lot. I don't. It's really his kind of go-to <laughs> uh, deal where he, he tells Chris Harrison, yeah, I'm mm -hmm. ready to go out there and, and face these girls, mm -hmm. and then just starts bursting into tears. Yeah. Uh, it's an interesting strategy. I don't know if it makes it look more sensitive <laughs> or what it is, but it's kind of a a thing that Nick Vile does. All right, that's his thing. So now we get to the women tell all, and that, of course, gets pretty heated as we would expect. We saw Rachel come out there. We also saw Corinne, everyone's favorite villain. She came back, but we saw a different side of her landing. You actually maybe kind of like her just a little bit after her appearance last night? Uh, I don't want you to say that on television, Alicia, <laughs> but yes, I actually, I kind of had a moment where I gained a little bit of respect for her. Mm. Uh, so she puts some perspective on the whole Raquel thing. Yes, her uh, quote unquote nanny. Her nanny, uh -huh. yeah. So she's been there for her in some tough times. And she calls her a nanny because she doesn't want to call her a cleaning lady. So a uh, very important person, not necessarily just a lady that uh, takes care of Jason's cracking up over here. Uh, not necessarily just a nanny that takes care of her. So believe it or not, and I'm only going to say this once, but I actually I had a little bit of respect for uh, for Corinne last I night. I hope you were recording that because Landon will probably never yeah, say th that Just again. a little bit. Just to be clear, only only a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> so interestingly enough, her arch enemy, Taylor, she also comes out. And this was pretty surprising to me because it seemed as if the girls in the house, they weren't really crazy about her. Taylor. Yeah, it's crazy what we see, uh, you know, with what's actually shown uh -huh. on television when right. there's so much, obviously so much footage, what goes into it. So yeah, that's kind of a new uh, new storyline they went a little heavy on last night. It seems like uh, not a lot of Taylor fans in the Bachelor Mansion. I think they kind of thought she might have been a little on her high horse about the whole psychology thing. Oops, and they called her out <laughs> on it, right? They sure did. Yep. Okay. It, it did not look like a fun night uh, for <laughs> Taylor Nolan last night. Which is interesting because Nick is the one in the hot seat. You'd think he's the one who would have been more uncomfortable. Do you think he handled all the women well? I think, I mean, he's honestly just kind of awkward, so I think he's able to just kind of play it off as a thing that this is just how he acts. Um, but yeah, he had a couple girls confront him about, you know, why, why'd you say goodbye to me mm -hmm. and all that kind of stuff. He handled it. He handled it all right. I mean, we know what's going to happen, right? So we end with Nick kind of teasing us a little bit, suggesting yeah. it's possible he may not end up with a woman. And Landa, we know you're not his biggest fan, but... Do you think maybe somebody actually likes him enough to <laughs> stick around and accept the proposal? Well, that I, I don't know. Uh, and he said the last night, I guess you'll have to tune in to uh, WFA to find out. But uh, they're really playing up the storyline that he might end up alone. Mm -hmm. I don't see it happening, but uh, they've been kind of shattering the norm all season. So we'll see. Yeah, Next Monday. Yeah, definitely have. Next yeah. Monday's the night. It's the finale. Yep. Landon, as always, we appreciate I'll be your here next Tuesday. perspective. Yep. <laughs> Thank you so much, you bet. Jason. I think